In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a tiny little passion project that was made a reality. If you're looking to make your ideas a reality just like this tiny little Game Boy, then check out PCB Way. PCB Way have all of the services you need to make your dreams a reality, including injection molding, 3D printing, CNC machining, and of course, every single PCB you could possibly require. Check out PCB Way in the link in the description below. Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome to the Retro Future. I received an email recently from a company called Tiny Circuits who have made one of the smallest Game Boys I have ever seen in my life. Certainly one of the smallest usable Game Boys that I've ever seen. This thing is absolutely tiny. Here is a regular sized Game Boy. It's almost the same height as the D-pad. It's absolutely ridiculous. We've received lots of very small Game Boys before on this channel, and it's just its just not even real. I cannot believe that this thing is actually real. When I got sent this email, I looked at it, and my immediate response was, yes, I'm interested. Please send me one. And they did, and I'm very excited to have it here on my YouTube channel. I might even be the first person to make a review on it, so that's the kind of high-quality content you get on the Retro Future. Subscribe if you're not. Um, <laughs> so yeah, as you can see here in this lineup of small Game Boys, this one, this one takes the biscuit. It's absolutely tiny. I should make it very clear that this is the pre-production unit that has been sent to YouTubers like myself. Uh, the Kickstarter is going to be live on the 28th of September, and uh, then you'll be able to back it. There's about 50 available for the early bird backers, so check all the links in the description if you want to find out more information about this thing. Without any further waffle, let's take a look at it. So this is what Tiny Circuits sent me. This thing is going to be called the Thumbby, which is a very appropriate name considering it's the exact same size as a thumb. There is the dimensions that they have given me on this little cheat sheet, which I'm going to be referencing quite a lot because it's a really cool little thing and I want to get all the information right. This is the packaging that it has come in and I doubt very much that this is actually going to be the retail packaging. I can't stress this enough, this is a pre-production unit. They haven't even got the funds yet um, to make it which is why they're obviously turning to Kickstarter. You can see that it's going to be available on Kickstarter Tuesday, September the 28th. They've also sent a micro USB cable. They've said that you can actually program your own games and put them on there which is really cool. But if you're not into that, it comes with five games on there already. So I imagine there's also going to be some that you'll be able to download off their website and just drag and drop onto it if you so wish. So yeah, this is the packaging that they've sent me. They're claiming it's the world's smallest gaming console, uh, which I honestly believe. I mean, if you look at some of these things, which I've showed you before, these were tiny when we looked at them on the channel. But now this is just taking it to a whole new level. I just can't even believe it. Remember, the smallest official Nintendo console was this, the Game Boy Micro which this is smaller than the screen of the Game Boy Micro, which is just absolutely insane. So excuse the camera quality, I've had to digitally zoom this in because it's just so small. Remember, we're looking at something which is actually, it's about the same size as the tip of my pinky. They should have called it the pink bee. This right here is the unit itself. Now there is a couple of problems with the design. Uh, you can see there's a little mold issue down here, but as I said, it's the pre-production unit, so allow it. There's a little keychain included if you're mental and you want to put this on your keys, but it's going to get absolutely teared to shreds. And I hate it when companies, I know they do it just sort of to advertise just how small it is, but realistically, no one's going to be putting it on their keys, let's be completely honest. So there's two tiny, tiny little action buttons, which are just minuscule. And then you've got the little D-pad as well. Now the D-pad has a really nice little click to it. I have no idea how they've gotten four surface mount button contacts on that D-pad. That is just ridiculous. The start and select aren't actually real. Um, and then on the top, you've got the little power slider, which is really nice. On the back, you've sort of got that DMG design. On the bottom, you've got the micro USB port. And it, that right there gives you an idea just how small this thing is. So let's go through a few facts then of the Thumbby. So it has a monochrome 72 by 40 OLED display, an internal lithium ion battery, a micro USB connector, and the dimensions of it, as I said earlier, are 29 by 18 by 8.5 millimeters. And it's powered by a Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller. And I memorized all of that information. Unfortunately, I haven't got a price to give you because they have 
haven't released it yet and they haven't told me how much it's going to cost. So we'll have to wait till the 28th to find that out. I'm going to hazard a guess it's around $30, I reckon. I can't be, see it being more than that. And also, I can't see it being less than that. I'm going to say about $30. No idea. Absolutely no idea. So let's turn this thing on then at the top, which you can do. I mean, the <laughs> look at how much that switch sticks out. I think I've got quite big hands. So maybe your hands might be able to show this in a little bit of a better light. Oh, wow. <laughs> it looks actually quite big in your hands. <laughs> Let's go ahead then and turn this thing on. Look at that. It's even got its own little loading screen, which is so cute. Okay, so it says down there in the corner, there's a tiny little down arrow, which I imagine... Oh, that's going to be the settings then. So we've actually got audio on. If you scroll down again, you've got the different games. So you've got RFSD, Tiny Ann, Tiny Delve, Tiny Triss, Tiny Saver. Okay. So let's start then with RFSD. Let's see what that is. Press A and B, here we go. Right. Oh, oh my goodness me, it's very small. Are, you, are we shooting down the space debris? Oh my goodness, the speaker's quiet. I was like, is there any sound coming out of this thing? Let me just try and get this on the microphone. Can you hear that? I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this game is. We're, we're, we're a ship flying around in space and there's things moving, but I can't shoot them. So let's try a different game. I did not even know they made switches that small. Okay, let's try a different game then. So next one is Tiny Ann. Tiny Annalid. Tiny Annalid. Here we go. Wait, game over. What just happened? Oh, it's snakes. It's actually just snake. Oh, that's a, this is a great little version of Snake. Oh, game over. Well, that is a great little game of Snake. I mean, what you've got to remember is, this is not the kind of thing you're going to be playing Link's Awakening on. It's definitely just games that showcase the fact that it is a real thing, but not really games that are going to be super enjoyable to sit down and play for hours. It's also not actually very easy to play at all and I'm pressing I'm pressing all of the buttons at once. I mean we expected this right there's no way we thought this was going to be the most comfortable gaming experience that's ever been had but as a thing to buy for a little gift or to put on the shelf and say look this thing exists and I am a part of its history is pretty cool. Uh, the opportunity to back this thing on Kickstarter as well is really nice because you know these companies are never planning on making absolutely millions off of these things because it's a niche market anyway but uh yeah this is this is just this is the definition of niche right here right the next one is tiny delivery i presume yeah tiny delivery okay here we go press a let's see right we've got i think we're in a shop there's no way is this a story based hang on Wait a minute. Buy VLT tipped 65 grams. Invest, sell. BSC CNFS 5 grams. Am I missing something? Let's try it, Tiny Tris. That's the one that we've been waiting for. Look at the size of these Tetraminos. And they actually have enough definition in them to see clearly what piece you're um, you're dealing with, which is just ridiculous. I cannot believe this thing is real. I When I saw this email, I kind of thought, is this someone trying to like get my address? Because there's no way this is a real thing. So I took a leap of faith, gave them my address, and it turned up, <laughs> which I was not expecting. We're gonna get something. There we go. The long piece is going down. How many lines did we get? Oh, we didn't get any. That's good. What about now? Here we go. What? 
We still haven't gotten a single line. What's going on here? Yes, we've got one line. Two lines. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I, I don't really know what else to say other than it's not very comfortable and I'm pressing a million buttons at once, but it is a perfectly playable version of Tetris. But yeah, my goodness me, is it hard? <laughs> you literally are pressing all of the buttons and it's also quite painful. And if you don't have nails, I don't know how you're gonna play this thing. The final game to play is called Tiny Save, Tiny Saw Run. Tiny Saw Run, here we go. It'd almost be easier with a DS stylus. There we go. There we go. I've made it quite far, to be honest with you, although it's not really getting any harder. Two minutes later. Oh, 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 uh, oh, I made it 313 meters. There we go. That right there is the thumbie. Absolutely insane. That's it next to my pinky. You can see there it's tiny. Here's the actual Nintendo Game Boy. As I said, same size as the D-pad, same size as the two action buttons. Absolutely ridiculous. Massive, massive well done to Tiny Circuits for putting this thing off. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I have had so much fun. It's actually smaller than the USB <laughs> that it comes with. That is a feat of success right there. Look at that. I can't believe it. Absolutely incredible. Well done, Tiny Circuits. Thank you everyone for watching this video. A fun little one. Uh, not a lot to talk about. It is just a very, very small Game Boy, but I think it's amazing. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. As I said, I'll leave all the links that I can possibly get in the description. I'm sorry I'm not able to tell you how much it's going to cost, but if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.